in this particular session we will talk about uh, the leader actions that foster the team effectiveness right and uh, since uh, some sessions uh, we are already understanding the role of uh, leadership and the team effectiveness is there in this particular context uh, we will talk about the hill model of the team leadership leadership decisions leader actions team effectiveness uh, components of team effectiveness, indicators of effective teams, application of field model of team leadership and as usual the research paper, case study and the book recommendations are there. So, if your action inspires others to dream more, uh, learn more, do more and uh, become more, you are a leader is there. So, therefore, it is not like this, that is you are at the one position and there is a title and big title is there, heavy title and then you are a leader, it is not necessary. Wherever you are in the group uh, and then in the people are getting inspired by you, right and the, uh, the you, you make them to dream right so and they learn more right so therefore um, according to uh, john adams uh, that uh, he talks about that is you are a leader so uh, john kins adams have mentioned this particular thing that is the please don't look for the any particular position or title and the one can be the leader by his actions actually the then the hill model of uh, uh, team leadership talks about the decisions actions and effectiveness Whenever we are talking about the leadership decisions that is uh, monitor or take ac action task as the relational internal or external is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, always whenever we are talking about the leadership decisions uh, then, then they are the monitor or take uh, and always uh, because they have to take action. Uh, you see that whenever uh, you are talking about uh, the yesterday, today or tomorrow right you have to take the decision if this is a situation which was yesterday this is a situation for today or this is a situation for tomorrow then in that case uh, you have to take that particular uh, decision is to be there right now this can be related to the task or relational is there hmm? so uh, if you remember uh, we have talked about uh, the uh, the fiddler's model and in fiddler's model we have talked about that is uh, um, that uh, uh, there are two types of leaderships task oriented or relationship oriented is there right and the then uh, according to the situation you have to decide which type of the leadership you want to take then the internal or the external is there right so, internal leadership actions uh, that will be including uh, about this uh, task uh, that is the goal focusing, structuring for results, facilitating decisions, training and maintaining the standards are there right. So, the, these are the normal tasks which a leader has to take the decisions are there right. And in the case of the relational uh, leadership uh, the, what he has to do and that is the coaching, collaborating, managing conflict building commitment, satisfying needs and the modeling principles are there. Therefore, in that case uh, whenever this type of the relationship is there, so he has to play a different role, role of a coach, right, role of a collaborator uh, and uh, then manage the conflict uh, as per the right strategy so that the conflict has to be resolved, building commitment is there and uh, then satisfying the needs are there. So, satisfy the needs uh, uh, and uh, mo modeling principles that is the what type of the principles you wa want to develop uh, and uh, external leadership actions uh, will be that is about the environmental will be there. Hmm? So, what actions will be there networking is required right. So, here uh, 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 according to the Kuhn's book uh, here I would like to refer that uh, that is the whenever we are talking about the networking. So, successful managers, successful managers are having the uh, highest uh, that study in Kuhn's book has mentioned that is the uh, the successful managers are having the highest networking uh, um, con, uh, uh, capabilities right and the effective managers are uh, having as comparatively the successful managers uh, um, that is low and the average manager are having the least uh, uh, that percentage of uh, uh, the networking is there. But uh, what is required is your networking. If your networking is strong then definitely you can go for this type of the environmental uh, 
to meet the environmental challenges, right? Advocating is there, so there uh, you uh, you are supposed to make the logics, uh, arguments, discussions, uh, negotiating the support. Uh, we uh, we have discussed this thing as a negotiating support in the role of a leader as a negotiator in earlier session, right? So if you are a good smart uh, negotiator, right? So you will be able to control the environment. You will not let it be spoiled. And the buffering is there uh, in any situation that is the jugad uh, in Indian style we can say. The assessing uh, that is the assessment is to be there and the sharing the information. And uh, effectiveness is concerned that will be the team effectiveness and it is related to the performance and the development is there. So, overall performance of the team that will uh, be high and the development will also take place uh, into the team uh, efforts are there. So, should I monitor the team or take actions? Huh? So, leader can diagnose, analyze or forecast the problem, monitoring or taking the immediate uh, action to solve a problem is there. And uh, here we will see that is this diagnosis and analysis, right. So, that, that is about a decision making model. In case of the leadership decision making model, uh, you have to first find out that how many uh, alternatives are like for example, in the diagnosis, right. In the diagnosis, uh, you are having the A, B, C and D. So, therefore, these four options are there. So, in the four options, which option is, is the right one? And here you will find um, that is the uh, you have to analyze, find out, uh, evaluate, evaluate the options or ev uh, alternatives and uh, decision making model I am talking about. So, therefore, in that case, the um, before taking the decision, you have to do the analysis. So, somebody will, uh, some uh, factors uh, will score 7, 8, 6, 5. So, or forecast the problem or taking immediate action to solve a problem. So, if immediate action has to be taken out of these four options, which option would you like to select? If it is the 7865, right? So, then definitely for 8. So, option B. Right? So, therefore, in that case, uh, to we have to uh, find out the alternatives, diagnose the alternatives, analyze and then take the immediate action to solve a problem. Which problem need intervention? No, 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 you see no, this is the solution, but this may be a theoretical solution. And then in that case, uh, you need the interventions are legal. What will be the interventions? It will be social, political, economical, legal and technology. So, whichever the in, uh, uh, intervention which will work, you go for that. Make choices about which solution are the most appropriate. Now, this is also possible that is the 8 is, uh, is high right uh, in case of the ROI is concerned, but the practically it requires the investment of training technology. You may not like to go for that. So, then what you will do? The social. Social is there with this 7. So, which one is you will opt? What I want to tell you that is consider all the dimensions and make the permutation and combination. When you will make the permutation and combination, then you will come with the right solution. So, to come to the right solution, it is necessary that is you are having the uh, this particular uh, aspect. Uh, of the social, political, economical and then the uh, on basis of the scientific, this is a scientific, this is an art and you, you mix the science and art. So, then you will get uh, that is the uh, your uh, management. Effective leader have the ability to determine what interventions are needed if any to solve the, the performance which I have already talked about it. Should I monitor the team or take actions? Megra's critical leadership function is here. It is talking about that is the uh, diagnosing group deficiencies. So, therefore, in that case, uh, what my group can do and what I it cannot do, right? So, there will be the in group members, there will be personalities like horses, there will be personality like the cat, personalities like the dog, elephant, and like this. So, therefore, diagnose the group deficiencies. So, what one can do, what one cannot do, right? So, that will be the internal will be there. And when you are taking the executing the action, so taking the remedial action, 
right and the preventing the uh, deleterious changes. So, therefore, in that case uh, we have to be also careful in taking the decision that is we should not take any decision which will be destructive. Right. So, many times in the social problems what we say that is we say it is ok separation is the solution right that is the best solution, but is it the uh, uh, right solution or not that depends on situation actually we cannot generalize, but in general whenever we talk about. So, that separation or the breaking the team is not the right answer. No? Not, not right situation, you have to again go for the creating the team, then you have to invest the time, money and then get the right person that is not also not sure, otherwise again there will be the separation right. So, therefore, um, uh, you, you uh, what we have to prevent, prevent the deleterious changes. So, therefore, in that case uh, do not replace uh, your team members uh, um, uh, if uh, uh, it can it can be accommodated right. So, therefore, avoiding, accommodating, competing, collaborating and compromising right. So, therefore, in that case it is the uh, collaborating, compromising, accommodating uh, that can be options uh, uh, first can be considered if possible. And so, that will, pass. but in the case of the third of the when we are talking about the external and monetary is there forecasting environmental changes. So, therefore, in that case there will be the changes on basis of these changes. So, we will take the decision on the preventing the deleterious changes are there. So, definitely uh, with the period of time and as I mentioned yesterday today and tomorrow. So, you take the example of technology or social any aspect you take. So, yesterday it was different today it is different tomorrow it will be different. So, does it mean that is we should break the society? Does it mean that we should uh, uh, break the old technology? No, that will serve their uh, its own purpose right. So, therefore, in that case prevent the deleterious changes are there. Should I intervene the mid task or the relational needs are there? So, getting job done right. So, therefore, it, it is uh, helping maintaining the relationship, getting job done, making decisions, solving problems, adapting to change, making plans, achieving goals. So, therefore, here uh, it is a task functions are there. Hmm? So, but in the case uh, there is a certain uh, needs are there maintenance functions we have to adopt developing the positive climate solving interpersonal problems satisfying members needs and the developing cohesion is there. In the decision 3 should I intervene internally or externally hmm? leader must determine what level of team process uh, needs uh, leadership attention. Hmm? So, internal task are the relational team dynamics uh, if a conflicts between the group members are there then the team goals are unclear. So, then in, in that case it is not clear what to do external environmental dynamics if organization not providing proper support to team. So, then the, the in that case definitely uh, there you have to find out the interventions that is uh, which intervention will work. Internal task uh, leadership actions will be the set of skills or actions a leader might perform to improve the task performance goal focusing. Now, now you see that is always this is most important point. Many times I have seen that is the people are working together, but they are not goal focused. First thing they are not aware of the real, what is their goal is and they create the problems themselves for the achieving achievement of the goal. For example, and that is the particular task has to be accomplished right. So, within time what is important is this that is you take the people together you avoid the conflict you know, and you are preventive in. So, people are neither preventive not they are cooperating and as a result of which those who want to work they are not able to work and if they are not able to work uh, results will be uh, delayed and as a result of which uh, uh, they will be the no goal focus. And that is why this gaining agreement is very very important. So, when that and here you see that is the in management practices whenever you are deciding any goal do not decide your own uh, there is about the goal and this is a goal and you have to follow no no involve the stakeholders. Whenever you will involve the stakeholders whatever the goal you decide that will be practical achievable realistic right. But in the case when the people uh, one person decides of his own without considering the problems of others. Uh, suppose uh, I have to construct a road. So, I have to involve all the stakeholders no? I have to involve the contractors, I have to involve the opinions of passengers, I have to involve the technical personnel, I have to involve the managerial personnel right. And then, then everybody will say that this will be the problem that if this is a problem what will be the solution. 
right. So, that, that is the research is required. So, therefore, in that case that goal focusing is becoming the very, very important whenever a leader might perform to improve the task performance, he should be having the um, clarifying the goal. Second is structuring for results, planning, visioning, organizing, clarifying roles and delegating is there. And these are the functions of a manager, planning, organizing, leading, directing, coordinating and controlling. So, therefore, uh, these uh, leadership actions will be there and that, that, that those skills, uh, their functions which the manager is uh, uh, supposed to do that is the uh, structuring for the results is very important, plan properly. Now, the planning and controlling are the twin brothers, they go together. So, whatever you plan, how will you control it? Otherwise, what will happen that is the when you want to clarify the roles, roles will not be clarified, there will not be delegation. We have discussed the delegation and empowerment in length earlier. Facilitating decision making, informing the controlling, coordinating, mediating, synthesizing, issue focusing is there. Right. So, therefore, uh, whatever the decisions you are taking, so therefore, that has to be coordinated and mediated. Somebody has to take the responsibility, somebody has to give the support. Right. And when they give the support and it is possible, then you are synthesizing and issue focusing is there. Uh, but everybody will not be the competent enough. So, what you will do? You will educate and developing them. So, tra training team members in the task skills, they will be developed. Maintaining the standards of excellence, assessing team and individual performance, confirmating the inadequate performance. So, managing team should be the standard of excellence. So, they should ensure that is the yes, whatever we are doing, they, that is the, no, the best one. So, a set of um, uh, actions uh, uh, that is uh, leader needs to implement to improve the team relationship is the coaching team leaders in interpersonal skills, right? And the collaborating, including the involving, uh, managing conflicts, uh, and the power issues are there. So, there uh, he, uh, here. Uh, the leader, leader is a coach, uh, we have talked in the uh, previous sessions, uh, the, in the beginning sessions, what is the role of a leader? Leader is a coach also, hmm? unless and until you do not have that coaching approach and attitude, no mindset, uh, you cannot be a leader. Collaborating is there, are you able to collaborate or not, including the involving, managing conflict and power issues that is the avoiding confrontation, uh, questioning ideas and all, building commitment and esprit de corps, right. So, that is the false principle that we always talk about the esprit de corps, right. So, therefore, it, it is a team building, team effectiveness. So, that is the building commitment is there hmm? and commitment cannot be built uh, uh, only by the words, by actions. So, being optimistic, innovating, Envisioning, socializing, rewarding, recognizing. So, therefore, you will be having the team effectiveness. Satisfying the individual member needs, trusting, supporting, advocating is there. Modeling ethical and principal practices, there is a fair, consistent, and the normative is there. So, whenever internal relationship or leadership actions will be taken, set of actions, leader needs to implement so that the relationship. Uh, between the leader and the team and among the team members also, right, that, that, that will be having the improvements. Set of skills of behavior leader needs to uh, implement to improve environmental interface with team. So, advocating and representing the team to environment. Hmm? Arguments that is yes, this is the best, uh, and there are there are the logics are there. Negotiating upward to secure necessary uh, resources, right, and so support and recognition for team. So in that case, uh, it, it is very important. That is the we are having these uh, all negotiating uh, uh, that power, right? That is the negotiation is to be done. Unless and until we will not be able to do the negotiation, it will not work. Sharing relevant environmental information with team. So, whatever the team uh, is information we want, then we have to share with them. Earlier, traditionally what was there, there was a power distance and people were not sharing the information in team which is required by the team. So, team was dependent and nowadays it is a delegation time, it is an independence time, it is not the time of that uh, uh, the control, right. So, therefore, that is a sharing is there buffering team members from environmental distractions. So, whatever is future problems are there, already you are taking care of that. Assessing environmental indicators of team's effectiveness, what will be the effect on the environmental issues and networking and forming alliances in the environment is there. L uh, Larson and Lefestro in 1989 uh, suggested the following in characteristics of the team effectiveness, clear elevating goals, results driven structure. 
So, clear evaluating goals as I mentioned that is the what is the performance, what are the objectives and if the motivation is there they will be able to achieve it. Results driven structure is there, find the best structure to achieve the goals, clear team members roles, good communication system, methods to assess individual performance and emphasis on uh, the fact based judgments is there. Uh, the team effectiveness will be depending on this uh, the components, uh, com uh, right number and the mix up members, members must be provided sufficient information, right, education and training and uh, whenever there is a requisite technical skills are there, uh, then interpersonal and teamwork skill will be always working and therefore, in that case, so these HR skills, no. So, job knowledge is very important, but with the uh, job knowledge, these HR skills are equally important. What will be the team factors which is affecting? openness, supportiveness, action oriented and a positive personal style is there. So, leader has, has to be very, very positive towards the team. Core competencies are the ability to do the job well and problem solving ability will be there. There will be the unified commitment. So, teams uh, need a carefully designed and developed a sense of unity or identification that is the team spirit is there. And the collaborative climate is there on openness, honesty, consistency and respect uh, will be there. Always collaboration is required. It is a, I always uh, talk about uh, that is in the team uh, effectiveness. It is not the one person. If the lever, even leader is thinking no, that he can do alone, we have discussed many theories, models that is uh, it is not possible for leader alone to do something and what who is a leader, leader who, who is having the followers. So, then when there, there are the followers, there is a leader, so there will be team. So, this collaborative climate is very much necessary. So, there is a demanding and rewarding collaborative behavior, so that the team's problem solving efforts are to be managed. So, managing one's own control needs is very, very important is there. Now, this is a very uh, interesting point dear friends, that is a standards of excellence. What is the benchmarking practices are there? So, whenever we are talking about the project management, we talk about the Ishri Dharan, right? Whenever we are talking about the uh, uh, organizations like NTPC and all, so they, they, they have, we, we understand that is the how uh, the these our uh, uh, organizations are doing their best and that is a standard of excellence is there and whenever there is an excellence, then de uh, definitely uh, uh, we, we, we should know the definition, definition means benchmark. Right. So, that is the what re requiring results are there, clear expectation, but uh, this expectation designing of this expectation, my submission is this in addition to these points, that is the uh, that is the benchmark, what will be your benchmark that you have to decide, right. And the actual support and recognition uh, environment, organizational environment is to be there and it is needed to do their job, recognize for the team accomplishments, rewarded by tying those are rewards to team members performance and not the individual achievement is there. Uh, whenever we are talking about the principal uh, uh, leadership is there, there is a cognitive understanding of problems, uh, uh, right. Uh, so, influence team effectiveness through the four sets of processes as per the Zekero et al in 2001 has given, there is a co cognitive, motivational, affective and integrative there. So, understand problems, confronting them, motivational is there, so that uh, themselves are keeping the high performance standards which I was talking and the affective is there handling stressful circumstances by providing clear goals, assignments and strategies. Integrative is there, teams activities through matching member roles, clear performance strategies, feedback interrupting the environmental changes are there. As well, task performance, uh, team effectiveness is concerned, task performance, group process and individual satisfaction is very important. So, teams outputs are there, needs the needs and expectations of those who use it, group process is there to which the members interact or the relate there allow the team to work increasingly well together over time. Individual satisfaction is there, the, the group experience on balance it is more satisfying than the frustrating to the team members is there. So, finally, we come to the, the indicators uh, of these uh, effective teams. So, team norms are there. So, uh, acceptable standards of behavior hmm? and the shared by the team members are there. So, whenever we are talking about these uh, uh, indicators, whether the, there are the uh, proper indicators or not. So, uh, that is the whatever the high level of standards uh, benchmark you decided no, and that is the acceptable standard of the behavior is there. Right. So, therefore, as we talk about the, the, the standards for the technical uh, uh, efficiency and effectiveness uh, productivity, huh? similarly we have to make the acceptable standards of the behavior also hmm? and every member should know what is acceptable here and what is not acceptable. Team cohesiveness and the interdependence is there to which the team members can bend together and remain committed to achieve team goals are there. 
team composition is there, knowledge, background and experience of the team members are there. So, therefore, that they have to create that is the team composition is required. Team structure, uh, interrelations that determine the assignments of tasks, responsibilities and authority is there and therefore, the team, uh, team, uh, team structure that has to be developed. Team creativity, creation of valuable, useful and novel product, service idea, procedure or process, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it, it is the creativity of the team. So, definitely the cohesiveness and interdependence uh, uh, is there uh, and uh, whenever we are talking about uh, uh, that structure and I have mentioned about that structure, right, assignments of the task uh, uh, organization structure. So, role and responsibilities that that is very very important. Team creative useful and the novel products right. So, therefore, that that will be that is a predetermined step by step procedure team creativity will be there. So, uh, uh, these uh, uh, ultimately a team leader who is ready to lead the team members to be a part of the team to achieve the determined goals and objectives. Now, this is also important. Now, many times yeah this is fact that the leader is does not want to lead the team this also happens because by force he is, he is not by choice he is by force the leader organizational support to which the team have support from the top management is there. So, that is the ex external environmental factors whenever these external environmental factors and these indicators will be there. So, then uh, here we will find that is the ultimately that that is a team leader or that uh, team uh, has been the successfully led by the leader effectively is there. So, what is the application of the Hill model of team leadership? So, there are many ways to apply the team leadership model to increase the effectiveness of organizational teams. The model is useful in helping the leader make decisions should I act actions, should I decisions actions right. So, if so how should I do for example, if the team is not performing effectively then leader can make the first strategic choice by monitoring the situation to improve the team functioning is there. If an action seems warranted. Uh, then the leader needs to decide whether the action should be directed inward towards uh, team functioning and the outwards towards the environment are both is there. Once the context for the action is determined, then the leader needs to choose the most appropriate uh, the skill for the situation from his or her behavior reportable is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, the, the actions which are required uh, that what is warranted and then he has to perform that particular action is there. Uh, as usual, uh, uh, this is the uh, research paper uh, uh, relationship between the emotional intelligence and the transformational leadership of the supervisors is there. So, therefore, in it is a very interesting paper uh, and because whenever we are talking about and it is the relationship, task, relationship, actions, right, team effectiveness, decisions. So, therefore, that emotional intelligence is very, very important and the leader should have the transformational leadership of the supervisors and if he is having that, uh, uh, we have talked about this transformational, charismatic, transactional, task oriented, relationship oriented different steps of the leaderships we have discussed. So, that here it is required will be that and this paper is talking about the transformational leadership is there. And the support for the model we suggest that supervisors emotional intelligence components such as social skills, motivation and empathy are positively associated with the transformational leadership is there. And therefore, in that case uh, it be, uh, here uh, that uh, your uh, uh, social skills you know, social means love and affection belongingness skills are very, very important that is the organizational citizenship behavior will be the part of the social skill will be there. Motivation is there intrinsic and extrinsic motivation both will require right. And in the empathy uh, that this is all about the emotional intelligence com components are there. So, self awareness, self regulation regulation, empathy, socialization right. So, therefore, in that case uh, in, and the motivation. So, therefore, these are uh, positively associated with the transformational leadership is there. If you are self aware, know your SWOT, you are having the self regulation. So, you know the how to control uh, yourself, uh, then you are having the empathy, the concern for others. So, your team members. So, therefore, in that case you are able to monitor that you are having the socialization with them that is the yes social skills are the important. So, as a result of which what you will do that is the you will be having the uh, the motivation to lead them and it is a positive uh, uh, associated with the transformational leadership. So, when when you are having all these emotional intelligence uh, uh, dimensions definitely you will be leading to the uh, the transformational leadership will be there. 
So, uh, linkage among emotional intelligence and transformational leadership of the Greek organizations and the impact on the teamwork and with their subordinates, this paper is talking. As usual, there will be the naturally the limitations are, in, are there and uh, uh, here we can use uh, uh, this paper for the purpose of developing the effective team leadership. Now, this is a case study, can this virtual team work? Right, and therefore, in that case, in this case, uh, you will find that uh, certain situations has been given, and at the end, there are the questions: which of the eight characteristics of the team effectiveness are lacking in this team? Hmm? Whatever the which we have talked about, based on this analysis of team effectiveness, should Jim intervene at this time, or should he just keep monitoring the team? If you think he should take action, at what level should be the intervene, internal or external? If internal, should his take and be task or relational oriented? Is there? What specific leadership function should Jim implement to improve the team and why? This is so you can refer. And uh, finally, this is about the book uh, which we always refer one book. Uh, the, the 13 key performance indicators for highly effective team is there. And uh, I am sure that is uh, this book will be helping you to understand more in details that is the uh, how uh, and uh, um, when and where uh, this uh, you will be able to make uh, your team uh, highly effective with the high standard performance is there right. So, it contributes to understanding of the nature and functioning of the team cohesiveness right. So, uh, here it is uh, the team health indicators. Right. So, therefore, in that case highly effective whether your team is healthy or not <laughs> or it is on oxygen and the ventilator right. So, that you have to check uh, industry sectors, team sizes and organization and identifying the factors that impact on teams and the implication of teamwork. So, these books, these research papers that will give you the idea actually na, in the direction, but uh, then uh, you have to uh, make uh, the relative uh, and the selective uh, options so that what will be applicable and not only in the context of India, even in the context of the your organization and not only in the all the units of your organization, it is related to the your unit only and it is not applicable to only your unit, this is applicable to your team only. Right. So, if you will making this, so you will be you yourself will be identifying these uh, indicators and then you can write a book also in that case. Right. So, balance rule these are the 13 clear object and purpose, openness, trust, confrontation and conflict, cooperation, support, communication relationships, individual and team learning and development, sound intergroup relations and communications, appropriate management leadership, sound team procedures and regular review, output performance, quality and accountability change creativity in challenging the status quo, decision making and problem solving, the moral, the you know, uh, moral is also that is the um, em emotional moral, I have talked about once in emotions that is uh, uh, moral emotions, that is your moral should be very high and the empowerment is there. So, this is all about these are the references which you can refer for your further studies and uh, uh, for in detail uh, you can go through these references uh, for more understanding. Thank you.